Hey, what's up? It's Happy Mac. Do you remember Jailbreak? It's like removing the fences around iPhone's operating system. It lets you install apps and customize things Apple normally wouldn't allow. It was really popular in the early days of iOS. It's still really popular, but it has definitely changed over time. And right now, I'll be presenting you some of my all-time favorite Jailbreak tweaks that make my iPhone experience perfect. The first thing I wanted to mention is my home screen. With the help of a tweak snowboard, I can apply custom icon themes to my iPhone, and the theme that I'm currently using is kinda stock. And if you're wondering about my icon layout, that is done by a tweak called Atria. Now with that out the way, let's talk lock screen tweaks. Fastlock X is a tweak that lets you unlock face ID devices without that annoying swipe, allowing you to get to your home screen faster. It can also come really handy when you have to use your phone one-handed, especially on Mac-sized iPhones. Next one is Jellyfish. Jellyfish brings a simple Apple Watch inspired lock screen setup. That, paired with Last Look, a tweak that brings always-on display style animations to older iPhones, really makes this phone simple and unique. Now, Last Look stays on for only 30 seconds, so it also works on older iPhones with LCD displays with negligible battery drain. Have you noticed something different about my iPhone's notch? This is done by Bazzi too. Bazzi gives your notch a personality by using it as a battery charge indicator. It can also change your battery icon in a status bar. Up next, we have Flow, a lock screen music player tweak that uses an album cover theme as your wallpaper. This is my personal favorite, it looks so good and I think it's a really nice replacement for the old boring one. Mitsuha Forever brings a fully customizable system-wide music visualizer. You can set it to show on lock screen, home screen and control center, also in Spotify and Apple Music apps. The next one is more of a quality of life improving tweaks. This is Barmoji. Barmoji saves you time to go to the emoji section every time you want to use them. It utilizes the empty space under your keyboard by putting your recent or favorite emojis there, which can be really handy sometimes. Ringer actions allow you to set custom actions to the mute switch on your iPhone, basically bringing the action button to older phones. I personally use it to mute the device alongside enabling Do Not Disturb mode. Dock indicators adds a Windows 11 style look and animations when one of the dock apps are open in the background. It starts bouncing up and down if you have a notification in one of those apps. Color Me Notice is a notification dimming tweak that changes notification background colors based on the app itself. This, combined with Quart, gives your notifications and lock screen their own personality by making it easier to differentiate multiple notifications. Remember the Air Power, Apple's failed wireless charger that never made it to the release because of safety issues? Apple showcased beautiful charging animations for Air Power, but it isn't present today because we never really got Air Power. Maple brings those animations to your iPhone while plugging in the charger so you can still feel like you have an Air Power. Let's talk about simple tweaks slash visuals that I love using on my iPhone. Prism brings over a simple and more refined control center, which can be accessed from the bottom of the phone, making it easier for one-handed use. Round Dock Remastered allows you to customize the corners and the color of your dock. Swiping Center X brings swap gestures to your keyboard for easy cut, copy, and paste, alongside haptic feedback if you're using iOS 15 or 14. Mobile Goose is a tweak that brings a little white goose which walks all over your screen and sometimes brings up some memes. You know, just for kicks and kills. Double Tap to Lock is another simple tweak that allows you to lock your phone just by tapping on the home screen twice. And last but definitely not least, Visa adds customizable controls to your lock screen for quick and easy access. There you have it. I hope this video gives you some kind of inspiration and creative ideas. On that note, thank you guys so much for joining me on this jailbreak journey. If you watched this video till the end, you probably also like it, so make sure you hit that like button. I'm Matthew, you've been watching Happy Mac, and with that, I'll see you in the next one.